And welcome back. It is 944. So National Root Beer Float Day. Oh. It is a day. It's a coming up. Yeah, it's coming up on Friday. So today Katie has a fun experiment that teaches the science behind a delicious root beer float. All right, so yeah. Katie, break it down. What do we need? All right. <laughs> this is really easy. Really easy. Like easy. Brace yourselves. Three things. Oh. Well, technically four. I left off the spoon. So you'll need a glass, a spoon to scoop out your ice cream and then also some root beer. So yes, this happens to coincide with National Root Beer Float Day on Friday, but also part of the reason I picked this is because last Science Lab, Max assisted me with the ice cream in a bag, mm. and I have not heard the end of it from David about how he didn't get to <laughs> eat ice cream. So this is kind of for you too. Yay! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna, wait, wait, wait. Oh, so man. we gotta talk about this, the states of matter. We're gonna start with our solid, which is the ice cream for now before it really starts to melt. So David, I want you to scoop our ice cream and put it in the, I don't have a scoop for the ice you cream. You didn't bring an ice cream scoop? No. Right, so this is what we're starting with. Our ice cream in its frozen or still somewhat frozen state is going to be acting as <laughs> You need our solid. <laughs> is this mine? You can just have it all. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it off the spoon. So, it's yours now. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll notice once David gets some of that. I'm not gonna make a root beer float. Can you use your hand? <laughs> if that's yours, just use your hand. I think you're gonna have to remove your gloves for this plus. one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna continue on with the yeah, science. You just talk so about the science, the and I'll just talk about this out gets our ice cream in there when it's still somewhat frozen, so not totally melted, that is going to act as our solid. And so the reason, and this still looks kind of liquidy, but if you look at the, the bottom there, there's our, our ice cream that's still, that's that's still holding one. a little bit of its shape. So keep in mind when we talk about the states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, solids are rigid. They have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. So that's why our ice cream, since it's not melted yet, it's still holding its, its ice cream shape. How much are you gonna put in there? I think that's good. That's All the good. ice cream. Just you can just, into, you're just gonna, gonna have <laughs> Okay, <laughs> now for our liquid, this one pretty self-explanatory. Our liquid in this case is going to be our root beer. And you'll see when David pours oh. the root beer in with the ice cream that a liquid is not rigid and it doesn't have a fixed shape. So it's gonna kind of move around and do whatever it wants, but it does have a fixed volume, meaning that it's not going to escape from our glass here. So that's the difference between our solid and liquid. And what happens here, how do we get our third state of matter, our gas? This is actually carbon dioxide bubbles here on the top when we mix our solid and our liquid. So right here, you have the three states of matter in a handy, delicious treat, David. How easy was that? That's awesome. Just beautiful. I learned so much today. <laughs> okay. I'm He's gonna, really glad I could be a part of it. I will say that is really interesting yeah. because you don't think about the three, three parts states of that. Oh, no, yeah. you're just totally into the, the ice cream. <clears throat> review, but what were they again? Solid. Solid. Liquid. Liquid. liquid gas. And gas. Yeah. yeah. So parents, right this is a really fun way to get the kiddos a, a cool mm. summer treat, but mm -hmm. also throw in a little bit of learning there. You can never do too much of that. So. Maybe this weekend when it's hot and humid like Justin was talking about, you can try out this activity. You can also try out our ice cream in a bag activity. <laughs> ice cream in a bag. That was, that was, that was delicious. Good, right? Yeah. Max knows. Uh, so you can try all that this weekend. All of our experiments, all the videos, everything you need is on ksat.com. Just go to the KD Science Lab section. That and is great. We have a, we have a This is a totally unopened pint of ice cream, so come and get it. Uh, Dylan says mine. Come and get it. So, all right. Thanks, David. Good job. How, how is that solid all, liquid it, gas? How does that taste, David? It, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. So. All right, you guys. Maybe Justin day. will will 